Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66-Day Challenge 3.0. Today is day 40, and we are going to launch our series on campaigns after wrapping up designs yesterday. So the first challenge we're going to talk about today is how to utilize real mailers to send out postcards to either people in your farm or just listed postcards around a home that you just listed, maybe buyer postcards around an area you're looking to farm for buyers, etc. So I want to do a real quick recap. Yesterday we created some postcards within designs and I want to make sure that we are downloading those correctly. So this is an example of one of the postcards um, that we can create. Now I will say yesterday we did download and create a portrait size or vertical postcard. Um, I have learned that real mailers as of right now today, that's uh, January 3rd, 2020, real mailers does not accept a vertical or portrait style postcard right now. So they're only accepting landscape. So this is another version of a landscape postcard. I haven't made any changes to it, but I'm just going to show you once you have made the changes, the correct way to download it in order to use it for the real mailers campaign. So we're going to click on download. We want to make sure that we're choosing get PDF. We want to download each page separate from the other. So it'll be two separate downloads, page one to one. And then we're going to download a second time, page two to two. We want to make sure that we're using high resolution print quality and that we're choosing publish settings and then selecting use manual bleed. From there, whoops. Okay, let me get back in there. Not sure what just happened there, I apologize. So we're gonna get back into our postcard. We're going to download it, and we're gonna make sure that we select, again, the PDF format. We're gonna make sure that we select page one to one. Again, download page one to one, high resolution print quality, and use manual bleed. And we'll download that first one. That's going to take a second or two. And as soon as that downloads, it'll show up in the bottom left of your screen. There it is. And now we're going to do a second download page two to two. Again, high resolution print quality, use manual bleed and start that download. That's going to download page one separate from page two. Once that second download has processed, we're going to go to done. That's going to take us back into command and campaigns is the megaphone. It is your seventh icon down on your left hand side here. So we're going to get into campaigns. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to create a new campaign. So we're going to come up here to the top right hand corner and click on create new campaign. And this is a direct mail campaign that we are starting. So we're going to click on direct mail. And just like um, all of the other campaigns that we'll be working through here shortly, we're just going to go ahead and put in a campaign name. For now, I'm just going to put test. What is your goal? Right now, this does not affect the outcome or the process or any other way your campaign right now. This is really just a way for KWRI and the labs team to track what we are actually using our campaigns for. So if this was a just listed card, I could say I was looking to attract buyers. Down here, I can use a default template, but I already created that design and downloaded it from designs. So I wanna upload that into my campaign. So I'm gonna choose upload a design, and then I'm gonna click set up campaign. And the first thing it asked me to do is to upload those designs. So I've gotta upload the front, and then I've got to upload the back separate from the front. This is why we had to have the two separate downloads from designs. So I'm going to click on browse files. I'm going to find my download folder. And this is the first page, number one. And there is that front. I'm going to click on back of postcard and browse again and find the second one. And there is the back of my postcard. Okay. Next, I'm going to come down to the bottom and click on continue. And from there, we have company. Okay, so I'm going to click on the down arrow next to company. I need to pull up my company logo. So I'm going to go onto my Google Drive and find where I have my DBA logos saved on my computer. You would go in and find the ones that you had. And I'm going to click on open. And then I'm going to start typing in my office name and address. 
So that's Keller Williams Platinum Realty. All right, so as I go through, I can start filling in all of this information. I'm gonna click on Verify Address, and it's gonna say, well, we actually have the corrected address as Jersey Village 5621, that's fine. I'm gonna confirm that address. And now the last step that I have, well, second to last step is targeting. So I can do a couple of different things. If I wanna send this postcard out around the address that maybe I just listed or just sold looking for additional listings, I would actually start putting in the street address. I also have the ability to target my database. The first thing that I need to do if I'm gonna to choose to target my database is create an audience. So I can create that audience by tags or by neighborhoods. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is I can say, let me target this by tags perhaps. <coughs> and maybe I wanna send it out to everyone that I have in my system that has a tag for KW Productivity Coaching. I can call this list KW Productivity, right? Coaching, I spelled that wrong, productivity. That's still not spelled right. There it is, productivity coaching. And click on create. And now I have created the audience. I need to then select the list. And you can see the audience count is two. I only have two physical addresses in those tags. So probably not the best. I could just send out two postcards if I wanted to. Um, but as you grow your database and you have more and more people <coughs> excuse me, in your database, you also have the ability to target a neighborhood. So I could say target by neighborhoods, and then I could search for an actual neighborhood. So let's put in Cinco Ranch. How many people do I have in my database that have Cinco Ranch there? And I could call this Cinco Ranch 2 because I already played with it earlier just to make sure it worked and click on create. And now I'm going to look for that audience and you can see Cinco Ranch 2. I only have one person in my current database that's been assigned to Cinco Ranch as a neighborhood. So again, that's only going to send out one postcard. So for right now, I'm going to show you local targeting. Um, let's say I wanted to send that out around the address that we were working on yesterday. So that was Don Hollow and I can come in and put in all the information for the property and then click on save. Okay. The last step right now is just to choose how much I want to spend and how many postcards I want to send out. So this is going to be a four by six postcard because that was the size of the template that I utilized. I'm using first class, so 59 cents per postcard. Right now I'm sending out 200 of those. Okay, so you can see the price is 118. I can change this by one and start lowering my price. So if I wanted to get down to a specific dollar amount, I don't want to spend more than $100. There I could do 99.71. I could also just say, hey, I only want to send out 100 postcards and that's going to show me that my cost would be $59. So let's do the 200 and click on save. And then from there, I'm going to go on to step two, which is configure the targeting. So once I click on that, it's going to say, are you sure you want to create this campaign? And I'll say yes. And now essentially what command is doing is connecting us to the real mailers program here within command. So this is kind of real mailers embedded, if you will, into command. So you can see we're targeting 200 homes and I can kind of click and drag on this map. Any of these blue dots represent a house that's going to receive a postcard with regards to, and here is 1906, this house right here, I'm not sure why it doesn't show it, but this is 1906 Don Hollow. Everything that's blue are all of the people that are going to get a postcard. Now I do have the opportunity to say, hey, I only want this to go to single family homes. That doesn't change anything because all of these blue dots around this home are all single family properties. Now this was a three bedroom house so if I said, hey, I don't necessarily need this to go out to any more than a four bedroom house, I could come down and say, hey, I only want it to go out to homes that have zero to four bedrooms. So you'll see that changes it ever so slightly. 
I did pick up one house on the other side of Peak Road, and I probably lost a few here and there that might have had five bedrooms. I could also say this was a smaller house. Um, I only want to target other similarly smaller houses, right? So I could come in here and say, hey, let's target everything under 2,800 square feet. And you'll see now we're getting additional blue dots that are a little more spread out because it's eliminating homes that have more than 2,800 square feet. So you can kind of go through each one of these sliders and custom tailor the audience, or you can just leave them maxed out and just say, I want the 200 closest homes by geography, right? By distance, which is what it's doing right now, okay? So as you play with the sliders, I did see this last slider, last sold for when I was testing this earlier, it doesn't appear to be working 100%, although all of the other sliders were working well for me. So just a heads up there. As you scroll down, you can see, okay, I'm sending out these first class mail. I can send a copy to the company address by clicking on this checkbox. Do realize that it doesn't come to me as an agent. It comes to me as current resident at Keller Williams Platinum Realty. So even though it's gonna have my face on it, I might want to alert my DOFI or my team leader or whoever it is that checks the mail for the market center and let them know, hey, over the next week or two, I'm expecting a postcard to come in just as a test so that I can see what the quality of the postcard is. That way, hopefully your director of first impressions, your team leader, whoever it is getting the mail doesn't throw that away. Okay, It won't have your actual name on it and it'll have your picture and hopefully that's enough for them to remember to get it back to you. So once I have targeted the houses that I want to send the postcards to, I would click on next. And from there, it's basically going to show me a preview of the front and back of the card. That's gonna take a second to load. And then you can see here, it tells you what happens next. If I'm ordering before 3 p.m., then the mailers, the postcards actually go into production that same day. Once they have been completed, they get dropped off at the nearest UPS processing center and then essentially go out from there. So it does say your mailers are estimated to arrive in the mailbox of the targeted recipients in approximately four to six business days. Okay, um, So just kind of a heads up, if you're looking to get something out in a day or two, uh, that's typically not what's going to happen. Okay, So let's scroll back up and you can see again, I didn't play with these templates, I just uploaded them to save time but you get an idea of what the front looks like and then what the back looks like, okay? Now, you can see on this template, it does cut off a few things, right? So it cuts off this email, social media. It cuts off to schedule a tour. So unfortunately, once I get to this point, I realize my design may not be perfect. I would have to back out of this campaign, go correct my design, and then come back through the campaign again. So once you find the postcard template that you really like, you're going to be very familiar with the best way to create it so that it looks good with this mailing label included on it, right? So I don't think that this looks 100% professional with the you know graphics behind the actual label here. So I might suggest that we come in, make a few changes to this to make it look a little sharper. Right. So once you have that all set up, you're, you're happy with the front preview. You're happy with the back back preview. You can even see a larger preview by clicking on this. Right. It'll actually zoom in. You can come in and kind of. All right. What does this look like, etc. You're going to want to probably redo the back of this to make it look a little better. From there, once you're happy with everything, essentially, you're going to click on make a payment. And it's going to give you the ability to actually make your payment via stripe.com to real millers. You would put in your email and then all of your information and you would click on pay and it would actually begin that process. So that is how we take a template from designs. We utilize it. We, you know, again, we didn't customize this one, but you saw me yesterday customize how quickly and easily that was to do. So I customized the postcard and then I have now loaded it into campaigns to a direct mail campaign, selected my budget, the number of houses I wanted postcards to go out to, and then was able to quickly kind of change anything that I wanted about which houses were selected. Once I was happy with the number and selection of homes, I did a final preview and then I clicked to pay. So that's how quick and easy it is to utilize campaigns for a direct mail postcard send out campaign. So, 
Tomorrow we'll dive into campaigns further. We'll start looking at some social ads, uh, both paid and non-paid, and kind of work through that over the next few days as well. Hope everyone had a fantastic day. Again, thanks to all of the agents at Keller Williams Austin Southwest and Northwest. Had a great time training there today. Uh, Rio Grande Valley, look forward to seeing me next week. And then Houston the week after, San Antonio the week after that. So excited for my tours as a South Texas technology director or technology trainer. And um, yeah, look forward to continuing to do these videos for you guys as well that are watching it out in cyberspace. Have a fantastic rest of your night, guys. As always, I look forward to speaking with you in the morning.